The engine puts out 52 pounds of thrust and as you can see it's mounted on an aluminum channel which is in turn bolted to the fender. This is so that when we get things cranked up it doesn't run away from us. The engine itself, five and a half inches in diameter, slightly over a foot long including the black object which is the startup electric engine. As we pan to the right you can see the various and sundry solenoids, fuel pumps, batteries. Sitting on top of the fender we have the control box, two just an on-off switch and the throttle knob and beside it we will move in and show you the engine data terminal which provides the information when the engine is running. You'll notice on the control box that there are only two items. There's an on-off switch or a startup switch and the knob represents the throttle. Okay, we've just uh, put the start switch on. Right now it's feeding a little kerosene, and this is an auto start, not the noise. Okay, she's now ready to roll. If I can control the throttle, we will be able to change the stuff. We're still in the auto shutdown mode. The little electric motor will come on and just uh, spin it a little bit, like that. And that's just uh, keeping the uh, airflow through the turbine as the internal parts cool down. All of this is automatic. So we've gone through an auto startup in less than 12 seconds from the time you hit that switch until it's ready to rock and roll is less than 12 seconds. And now we've just finished an auto shutdown.